we have learned a lot of effective ways of learning over the years of living and learning and going to school. Uh, we don't n know very well when to use them. What is the optimal strategy to use now? And basically, all the stra any strategy that is, involves you being active, involves you having to retrieve material, uh, rearranging that material, in some way interacting with that material, rather than just re studying it, re trying to put it in one more time into your memory, is going to be better. And this applies not only to learning uh, information, uh, but also in skills. We all want to just practice the same motion again and again and again. You hear about muscle memory. You have to get it. Well, the way the uh, skills don't reside in your muscles. They reside in your memory. And that is the, what you want to optimize by not just practicing the uh, same motion over and over again, but you want to, and the same thing with uh, your more textual information thing. Don't just practice it over and over again. In fact, one guiding principle in your study should be, um, I don't want to ever rehearse again something that is right there in my memory banks. I want to let a little time or uh, other activities to, to go by so that that information has been forgotten a little bit. So when I go back to it, uh, either now a restudy after a delay, or better yet, a test after a delay, it's going to be learned much more effectively. So in general, repetition, rote rehearsal, all of those things you've probably been taught, and you probably do in part because they're easy to do, uh, they are not very effective in terms of your long-term memory and also your ability to transfer what you've learned from one context to another. <music>